In the morning, our body is not only in need of nutrients, but is also able to absorb vitamins and minerals better. Which is why it's important to eat the right breakfast. How energetic you feel throughout the day depends on how nutritious your breakfast is. A good breakfast satisfies your hunger and avoids overeating later in the day. Although knowingly or unknowingly, we eat things in breakfast that might sound healthy but are really bad for you. Let us talk about 5 foods that you should never eat in breakfast. We will also talk about their healthier alternatives. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. Let's begin with number 5 on the list, which is bread. Bread has become a common breakfast item in Indian homes. White bread no doubt is made with 100% maida. But even if you check the ingredients of brown bread or atta bread, it only has a small percentage of whole wheat flour but has a fair amount of maida mixed in it. Even most multigrain breads have maida. And why just maida? These breads also have refined palm oil, dough conditioners, artificial flavors and preservatives. And then we hear things like Aapko apni taazi man pasand bread. In fact, this bread-like thing that we are sold is not the real bread that has been a staple food in European countries. While the real bread is made with just four ingredients, this convenient bread is made with more than dozen fillers. Shockingly, some of these ingredients are even banned in many countries. And yet they say, Britannia bread, har slice mein se hat. You can try baking bread at home. It will begin to get hard and moldy in two days. While the commercial bread stays for seven days even without refrigeration. What's more disturbing is that the brown color of brown bread is not because it has maida, but due to the added color in it. Yes, often brown breads come with this ingredient called INS150A, which is nothing but dark brown color which is formed by heating up sugar. So if you are a bread lover and really care for your health at the same time, there are four options. First, you can bake your own bread. Now it might sound a daunting task, but people who bake daily don't find it that difficult as well. Still, it might not be feasible for you. I feel the second option is quite smart. You can try and find a trustworthy bakery near you who can bake fresh bread for you. Third, I have shared with you some better bread options which are not 100% healthy, but you can include them in your diet sometimes. Fourth is to switch to roti, which I think is a good replacement for commercial bread. No wonder it's called Indian flatbread. At number 4 is muesli. Muesli has become quite a popular breakfast option these days. People add milk to it and consider eating it as healthy. And it seems true as well as its pack boasts the goodness of multigrains, fruits and nuts. Kellogg's Muesli. 12 grains, fruits, nuts and seeds ki energy wala. Don't fall for the marketing tricks because what it has is maida, 2 teaspoons of refined sugar in every serving, artificial flavors, colors, bleach, and candied fruits. Basically, the fruit is placed in heated sugar syrup, which absorbs the moisture from within the fruit and eventually preserves it. A reliable parameter to judge any such breakfast cereal is its fiber content. 100 grams of Kellogg's muesli fruits and nuts has just 6.4 grams of fiber. On the other hand, if you compare it with oats, its 100 grams will have over 10 grams of fiber. Even 100 grams of Ashirwad Atta has 11.1 grams of fiber. Now, if this packet of muesli has so many multigrains, fruits and nuts, why then fiber content is so low? The thing is that the ingredients are added after a lot of processing. And then they say, So you kiya power breakfast. It's time we ditch muesli, cornflakes, granola, chocos and things like that. I mean, these guys have literally done PhD in fooling their customers. Even the smartest of customers might fall for their tricks. Best is to buy something which has just one ingredient. Unflavored rolled oats or millet flakes. Add milk to them and customize it to your own liking. Or you can even make your own muesli premix. High in fiber, it will keep you full and energetic for long. Now that's a sleep power breakfast. 
Next is ready to eat meals. Nowadays empty or ready to eat breakfast is becoming a rage in urban India. But be it ready to eat upma or poha, this you should never buy. Firstly because they use ultra refined grains which is why their fiber content is really low. This 60 gram packet of poha has just 1.5 grams of fiber. That's close to maggi. Worst is that they add palm oil which is more unhealthy than refined oils. It seems dehydrated carrot is added to upma so that they can call it veggie upma. Even MTR's dosa mix has maida in it. And why dosa, maida is in uttapam and even rava idli. A South Indian would never appreciate this. If we eat this in the morning and believe that we have eaten something healthy, we will be fooling ourselves. Better would be to eat two bananas and go to office. And why would you like to eat from a box when poha, upma and dosa can be freshly made at home in no time? Similarly, avoid buying masala oats. Instead, buy normal oats and then make it fresh using your favorite vegetables. Next on the list is Nutella. If you like to spread Nutella on bread, roti, parantha and even dosa because they say Asli chuninda hazelnuts or premium coco se bana. Nutella ka anokha swad. Then probably it's time for filing another lawsuit. That's right, Nutella has only 13% hazelnuts with artificial flavor added. 55% of Nutella is plain sugar. Interestingly, which is even more than dairy milk. After charging 847 rupees per kilo, they are adding the cheapest oil in the market. Forget it as a breakfast food, even rasgulla is healthier than Nutella. If you are really keen on eating hazelnut spread, then there are some brands that are spending more energy on choosing the right ingredients than advertising them. Mixed fruit jam is another food that you should stop eating for breakfast. Maybe for dessert. That's because 100 grams of it has 15 spoons of sugar. Okay, chalo, if mixed fruit jam is made with 8 fruits, then why the dietary fiber is not even 1 gram? What kind of fruits are these? If your kid really loves eating jam, make it at home using desi khand or thread mishri powder. Once made, it can be kept in refrigerator without preservatives for a month. Also, some brands have now started making healthy jams. You can try them too. Finally, at number one is deep fried food. For breakfast, when the body is in dire need of nutrition, if we eat deep fried foods like chole bature and kachori, then forget nutrition, it will rather make your metabolism very slow. Eating deep fried stuff is like walking with an extra load. If you see, things like bhature and kachori are firstly made with 100% maida and then they are deep fried. And if you eat them somewhere outside, they use the same oil again and again, almost turning it black. Today, it's out and open that when oil is reheated, it produces trans fats and acrylamides, which become the reason for things like heart blockage, fatty liver, diabetes, and even cancer. When 100 grams of potatoes are deep fried, calories shoot up by almost four times but more importantly, the bad fats get increased by 20 times. So it's important to limit the intake of deep fried foods like puri, bhature and kachori. Preferably make them at home once in a while and never reuse the oil. So these were those 5 foods that people often eat for breakfast but you should either stop eating them or at least stop considering them healthy. It's better to switch to healthier alternatives. Ideally, for breakfast, you should choose whole grains, nuts, seeds, fresh seasonal fruits and vegetables, and make authentic recipes according to your own region. I have shared with you some quick and healthy breakfast recipes. You can check them out. If you want this information to reach more people, hit that like button. Share this video with a friend who still thinks Nutella is healthy. Talking about healthy start to the day, check out the special True Hair Oil. It's special because True Hair comes with True Heater. Of course, we all know that if we apply warm oil on the scalp, it works much better. Although we often feel lazy to warm it. And if it gets too hot, then it's again a problem. 
Its solution is true hair oil that comes with true heater. It heats the oil until 65 degrees and then automatically turns off. It takes about 4 minutes and you get a clear signal as the light flashes off. This is an intelligent product using which you can get the benefit of 30 Ayurvedic herbs without any hassle. And it's pocket friendly as well. It has an onion variant as well. All are 100% natural with 0% LLP. To buy it, click on the link down in the description box. Don't forget to apply the special discount coupon through which you will get an additional 5% off. In winters, you must drink this. To find out, check out this video. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.